Hey Giants fans, this week we are cooking one of my favorites on Field the Table, brought to you by Wine.com. When I'm at Oracle Park, I always get a slice from Tony's house. So Tony Gemignani is giving us pizza kits to work with, and we're gonna spice things up. I'm Kelly Johnson, of course, along with Alex Pavich, our insider, and Anthony Garcia, and our esteemed judge, Rich Aurelia, forever giant, back for more. Well, I'm actually gonna be cooking a spicy meat lovers pizza. Anthony, what are you gonna cook? I'm going simple, I'm going pepperoni and mushroom. And Alex, what do you got for us? So Tony does charity work with Brandon Belt and Joe Panic, so I'm gonna to try to replicate Brandon Belt's pizza, which I think is pretty similar to yours, but yeah. a lot of meat, a lot of spice. Rich, what's your favorite kind of pizza? Growing up in Brooklyn, I just like cheese pizza. I just like plain cheese pizza. But being in San Francisco for so long, and you know, once Tony's opened up there, that that's the go-to place. All right, so if you're going with the plain cheap pizza, then you're gonna love the wine pairing from wine.com. The Tuscan red wine of Italy, it's a blend of Sangiovese, Merlot, and Cab. Anthony, you and I are gonna love this Cosmo red blend from Languedoc. This is actually gonna be perfect for a spicy pizza. I'm gonna do the cast iron pizza. My first step is getting that sausage going with a little bit of olive oil. Alex, what are you starting on? We have the sausage, we have some onions of course, pepperoni, cheese, the red sauce. I'm cheating, because I know Rich, so there will be bacon on this pizza. Oh, oh. Come on. There might be some surprises when it all comes out, so we'll see. I got the gluten-free, it's really easy, the dough, it comes in the kit. You don't even have to do anything. Cheese, you get the sauce, you get the pepperoni, your run-of-the-mill mushrooms, cut them into nice little pieces. Anthony, did you roll your dough out yet? The good thing about gluten-free dough is that it's already prepared for you. You what? don't have to do anything. I'm here, here, this is me rolling my dough. I'm rolling. <laughs> That's the hardest part for me. For me, the thinner that crust, the better. It needs to be pliable. It's true. It's, I'm finding that out. So I'm watching all my little videos. They just kind of said a little this action. Rich, kind of spread it out with your hands. Yeah, just a little simple motion. Like, yeah. just keep turning it. So Anthony, where are you in your pizza? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going, I'm adding the mushrooms. I added the cheese, I added the sauce. Not in that order, I added the sauce first. And now I'm going pepperoni and mushroom. Okay, so my look, Rich, yeah? Got your sauce down. Here's my before. I'm very looks, proud of it. Looks lovely. I'm very proud of it. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Okay, I'm going to show you the pizza that is now ready for me to put in the oven. Look at that. All right, I'm in the okay. oven. So right, you're going to the oven? All right, I'm going in the oven. 10 to 14 minutes at 475. So there's the pizza pie. Here is the gluten-free pepperoni mushroom. Maybe not something you'd get at North Beach, but days in, room service? It's like one of those DiGiorno's you get at the grocery store. I will take DiGiorno level pizza. Prosciutto? That was the surprise ingredient. Oh! Oh, yeah. Just a brownie noser over Just there. Just sucking up all the way. Okay, there she is. See that? Pretty impressive. That looks really good. Pretty good. impressive. For prosciutto. I'll say this. This is the best group effort that I've been a part of. And I gotta be honest, I think you're all winners today. I'm giving all you guys a victory today. It was very, they all look edible, they all look impressive, and the wines were all good with them. All right, well, there we go. We're all winners. And Great. baseball's back. Yay! <laughs> it was really good.